Noradam Ranarid. In this Cambodian name, the surname is Noradam. In accordance with Cambodian custom, this person should be referred to by the given name, Ranarid. Noradam Ranarid, Khmer, January 2, 1944 to November 28, 2021, was a Cambodian. Prince, politician and law academic. He was the second son of King Noradam Sihanouk of Cambodia and a half-brother of King Noradam Sihamoni. Ranarid was the president of Funsenpec, a Cambodian royalist party. He was also the first prime minister of Cambodia following the restoration of the monarchy, serving between 1993 and 1997, and subsequently as the president of the National Assembly between 1998 and 2006. Ron Arid was a graduate of the University of Provence and started his career as a law researcher and lecturer in France. In 1983, he joined Funsenpec and in 1986 became the Chief of Staff and Commander-in-Chief of Army Nationale Sihanoukiste. Ron Arid became Secretary General of Funsenpec in 1989 and its President in 1992. When Funsenpec won the 1993 Cambodian general election, it formed a coalition government with the Cambodian People's Party CPP, which was jointly headed by two concurrently serving prime ministers. Ron Arid became the first prime minister of Cambodia while Hun Sen, who was from the CPP, became the second prime minister. As the first prime minister, Ron Arid promoted business interests in Cambodia to leaders from regional countries and established the Cambodian Development Council CDC. From early 1996, relations between Ranarid and Hun Sen deteriorated as Ranarid complained of unequal distribution of government authority between Funsenpec and the CPP. Subsequently, both leaders publicly argued over issues such as the implementation of construction projects, signing of property development contracts, and their rival alliances with the Khmer Rouge. In July 1997, Major clashes between troops separately aligned to Funsenpec and the CPP took place, forcing Ranarid into exile. The following month, Ranarid was ousted from his position as first prime minister in a coup d'état. He returned to Cambodia in March 1998 and led his party in the 1998 Cambodian general election. When Funsenpec lost the elections to the CPP, Ranarid, after initially challenging the results, became president of the National Assembly in November 1998. He was seen as a potential successor to Sihanouk as the King of Cambodia, until in 2001 he renounced his interest. In the succession As the president of the National Assembly, Ron Arid was one of the nine. Members of the Throne Council which in 2004 selected Sihamoni as Sihanouk's successor. In March 2006, Ranarid resigned as the President of the National Assembly and in October 2006 was ousted as President of Funsenpec. The following month, he founded the Noradam Ranarid Party NRP. Accusations and a conviction of embezzlement drove him into exile again. He returned to Cambodia after being pardoned in September 2008 and retired from politics. Between 2010 and 2012 he unsuccessfully attempted a merger of his NRP with Funsenpec. In 2014, he launched the short-lived Community of Royalist People's Party CRPP, before returning to Funsenpec in January 2015. He was subsequently re-elected to the Funsenpec presidency. Ron Arid remained out of public view since suffering a car accident during the 2018 election campaign which saw the death of his second wife. He made frequent visits to France for medical treatment and died in November 2021 in Aixen province. Early Life Ron Arid was born on January 2, 1944 in Phnom Penh to Sihanouk and his first wife, Fat Kanhal, who was a ballet dancer attached to the royal court. Ron Arid was separated from his mother at three years of age when she remarried, and subsequently grew up mostly under the care of his aunt, Noradam Ketkanya, and grand-aunt, Noradam Sabhana. Ranarid attended primary education at Noradam School and completed part of his high school studies at Lycée Descartes in Phnom Penh. During his childhood, 
He developed a close relationship with his grandparents, Noradam Suramarit and Sisawath Kasamak, but was distanced from his father. In 1958, Ranarid was sent to a boarding school in Marseille together with his half-brother Noradam Chakrapal. Ranarid initially planned to pursue medical studies as he did well in science subjects, but was persuaded by Kasamak to study law. After finishing high school in 1961, he enrolled in the undergraduate law program of the University of Paris. He struggled to focus on his studies in Paris, which he attributed to the social distractions that he encountered in the city. In 1962, Ranarid enrolled in the law school of the University of Provence. He obtained his bachelor's and master's degrees in 1968 and 1969 respectively, specializing in public law. After completing his master's, Ranarid took the PhD qualifying examinations in 1969. He returned to Cambodia in January 1970, and worked briefly as a secretary at the Interior Ministry. When Lan Nal staged a successful coup against Sihanouk in March 1970, Ranarid was dismissed from his job and fled into the jungle where he was a close associate of resistance leaders. In 1971, Ranarid was captured, along with several members of the royal family, and was held in prison for six months before being released. He was rearrested the following year, and spent a further three months in detention. In 1973, Ranarid returned to the University of Provence, where he completed his PhD in 1975. Between 1976 and 1979, he worked as a research fellow at the CNRS, and was awarded a Diploma of Higher Studies in Air Transport. In 1979 Ranarid went back to the University of Provence as an associate professor, teaching courses in constitutional law and political sociology. Entry into politics Initial years in Funsenpec When Sihanouk formed Funsenpec in 1981, Ranarid declined his father's invitation to join the party as he disagreed with its association with the Khmer Rouge. In June 1983, Sihanouk urged Ranarid to leave his teaching career in France and join Funsenpec, and this time he agreed. Ranarid was appointed a personal representative to Sihanouk, and relocated to Bangkok, Thailand, where he took charge of the party's diplomatic and political activities in Asia. In March 1985, Ranarid was appointed Inspector General of the Army Nationale Sihanoukist, RU, ANS, the Armed Force of Funsenpec, and in January 1986 became ANS Commander-in-Chief and Chief of Staff. Ranarid became Secretary General of Funsenpec in August 1989, when Sihanouk stepped down as its President. On September 10, 1990, Ranarid joined the Supreme National Council of Cambodia, SNC an interim United Nations administrative body tasked with overseeing sovereign affairs of Cambodia. When the 1991 Paris Peace Accords were signed in October of that year, officially ending the Cambodian-Vietnamese War, Ranarid was one of the SNC signatories. In February 1992, he was elected to the presidency of Funsenpec. 1993 Elections Main Article 1993 Cambodian General Election When the United Nations Transitional Authority in Cambodia, UNTAC, a parallel administrative body with the SNC, was formed in February 1992, Ranarid was appointed one of its council members. He spent time traveling between Bangkok and Phnom Penh, and while in Phnom Penh led efforts in opening Funsenpec party offices across Cambodia. At the same time, Funsenpec began to criticize the ruling CPP, which retaliated with violent attacks by police against low-level Funsenpec officials. The attacks prompted Ranarid's close aides, Noradam Siravud and Sam Rainsy, to advise him against registering the party for the 1993 general elections. However, the chef de mission for UNTAC, Yasushi Akashi, encouraged Ranarid to run in the elections. Persuaded by Akashi, he registered the party and the election campaign began in April 1993. Ranarid, as well as other Funsenpec officials, wore t-shirts depicting Sihanouk on the campaign trail. 
This nominally complied with an election rule by the UNTAC administration not to use Sihanouk's name during the campaign, who now served as the politically neutral head of the SNC. Voting took place in May 1993, Funsenpec secured about 45% of the valid votes, winning 58. Out of a total of 120 parliamentary seats, the CPP refused to recognize the election results and complained of electoral fraud. On June 3, 1993, CPP leaders Chia Sim and Hun Sen met with Sihanouk and persuaded him to head an interim government with the CPP and Funsenpec as joint coalition partners. Ron Arid, who had not been consulted, expressed surprise. At the same time, the United States and China opposed the plan, prompting Sihanouk to rescind his decision the following day. On June 10, 1993, CPP leaders led by General Sin Song and Chakrapong threatened to secede eight eastern provinces from Cambodia. Ronarid feared a civil war with the CPP, which had a much larger army than the ANS. Accordingly, he accepted the idea of Funsenpec working with the CPP, and both parties agreed to a dual prime minister arrangement in the new government. On June 14, Ronarid presided over a parliamentary meeting which made Sihanouk the head of state, with Hun Sen and Ronarid serving as co-prime ministers in an interim government. A new constitution was drafted over the next three months, and was adopted in early September. On September 24, 1993, Sihanouk resigned as the head of state and was reinstated as King of Cambodia. In the new government, Ronarid and Hun Sen were appointed the first prime minister and second prime minister, respectively. Co-Premiership, 1993-1997 Cooperation and co-administration with CPP Benny Widiono, the UN Secretary-General's representative in Cambodia from 1994 to 1997, has observed that although Ronarid was nominally senior to Hun Sen, he held less executive power. Ronarid initially viewed Hun Sen with suspicion, but the pair soon developed a close working relationship, agreeing on most policy decisions made until early 1996. In August 1993, while Cambodia was still under the administration of an interim government, Ronarid and Hun Sen jointly applied to make the country a member in the international organization of the Francophonie. The decision to enter the Francophonie sparked a debate among students in higher educational institutes, particularly those from the Institute of Technology of Cambodia who called for French to be replaced with English as the language of instruction. In response, Ronarid encouraged students to simultaneously learn both English and French. In August 1995, Ronarid expressed admiration for the political and economic systems of Singapore, Malaysia and Indonesia. As he saw it, these countries, characterized by hybrid regimes, active economic interventionism and limited press freedom, served as good models to propel Cambodia's socio-economic growth. Espoused the view that economic development should take precedence over democratic and human rights. In the initial months of the administration, he actively courted political leaders from various regional countries, including Indonesia, Singapore and Malaysia, with a view to encouraging investment in Cambodia. In early 1994, Ronarid established the Cambodian Development Council, CDC, to encourage foreign investment, and served as its chairperson. The Malaysian Prime Minister, Mahathir Mohamad, supported Ronarid's plans, and encouraged Malaysian businessmen to invest and assist in. Developing the tourism, infrastructural development and telecommunications industries. As the chairman of the CDC, Ronarid gave his approval to at least 17 business contracts submitted by Malaysian businessmen between August 1994 and January 1995. The projects mostly covered infrastructural development and included construction of a racing track, power plants and petrol stations. In November 1994, the CDC opened a tender to build a casino near Sihanoukville and proposals submitted by three companies were shortlisted. Ariston Berhut from Malaysia, Unicentral Corporation from Singapore and Hyatt International from the US. Ariston's proposal was valued at 1.3 billion US dollars, 
and included bringing a luxury cruise ship with casino to Cambodia, to be used to accommodate tourists until the Sihanoukville resort was built. Before the tender was even concluded, Ariston's ship was brought to Phnom Penh in early December. The tourism minister, Veng Sarivath suspected that there was backroom dealing. Activities between CDC and Ariston, who were nevertheless awarded the contract, which Ranarid signed in January 1995. In 1992, the UNTAC administration had banned forest logging and timber exports, a major industry and source of foreign earnings. In October 1993, Ranarid issued an order to lift the ban on a temporary basis so as to allow trees that were already felled to be exported for timber. The Khmer Rouge still controlled large tracts of forests in the regions of western and northern Cambodia bordering Thailand, and helped finance its operations by selling timber to Thai forestry companies. The Cambodian government was unable to impose its will in Khmer Rouge territory, and was eager to regain the logging revenues. In January 1994, Ranarid and Hun Sen signed a bilateral agreement with Thai Prime Minister Chuan Leek Pai. The agreement provided for felled trees to be legally exported to Thailand on a temporary basis until March 31, 1994. The agreement also arranged for specially designated customs zones to be created within Thai territory, which allowed Cambodian custom officials to inspect the logs and collect export duties. The logging ban went into force on March 31, 1994, but trees continued to be felled and a new stockpile of timber was created. Ranarid and Hun Sen gave special authorization for the lumber to be exported to North Korea. They would continue the practice of periodically lifting export bans and granting special approvals to clear stocks of fallen timber on an on and off basis until Ranarid's ouster in 1997. According to Canadian geographer Philippe Le Billon, Rana Ridd and Hunsen tacitly supported continued Khmer Rouge logging activities as it provided a lucrative backdoor source of cash revenue to finance their own political activities. Under Rana Ridd's co-administration, Malaysia's Samling Berhut and Indonesia's Makropanan were among the largest beneficiaries of government contracts, as these two logging companies, in 1994-1995, secured rights to log 805,000 hectares and 1.4 million hectares of forests, respectively. Conflicts within the government In October 1994, Ranarid and Hun Sen dropped Sam Rainsy as finance minister during a cabinet reshuffle. Rainsy had been appointed by Ranarid in 1993, but both prime ministers became uncomfortable working with Rainsy because of his pursuit of allegations of government corruption. Rainsy's dismissal upset Noradam Siravud, who resigned as foreign minister the following month. In March 1995, during an academic forum on corruption in Cambodia, Rainsy publicly questioned Ranarid's acceptance of a Fokker 28 airplane and a 108 million US dollars commission from Ariston Berhut. This angered Ranarid, who expelled him from Funsenpec in May 1995. The following month, Ranarid introduced a parliamentary motion to remove Rainsy as a member of parliament, MP. In 1995, Ranarid made calls for capital punishment by calling for murderers and drug traffickers to be executed by the state. From January 1996 onwards, Ranarid's relations with Hun Sen began to show signs of tension. Hun Sen submitted a government circular to reinstate January 7 as a national holiday, the anniversary of Phnom Penh's liberation from the Khmer Rouge by Vietnamese forces. Ranarid added his signature to the circular, which incurred the ire of Sihanouk and several Phnsenpec leaders. A few days later, apparently to tone down dissatisfaction from party members, Ranarid publicly accused the army of Vietnam of encroaching into the territories of four Cambodian provinces bordering it. As Widiono saw it, Ranarid intended to test Hun Sen's response to his accusations, of which the latter chose to remain quiet. During a closed-door Funsenpec meeting in the later part of January 1996, party members criticized Hun Sen and the CPP for monopolizing government power, and also chided Ranarid for being too subservient to Hun Sr. 
In February 1996, Ronarid expressed concern over repeated delays in the construction of the Resort Cum Casino complex at Sihanoukville, for which he had signed an agreement with Ariston in January 1995. Ariston blamed the lack of a governmental authority in Sihanoukville for the delay. At the end of April 1996, the government formed the Sihanoukville Developmental Authority (SDA) to oversee regulatory affairs and facilitate development. At a conference in May 1996, Ronarid charged that CPP-controlled ministries were deliberately delaying the paperwork needed to complete the approval of Ariston's project. According to Tyalong Samura, the former deputy governor of Cambodia's central bank, and Sam Rainsy's wife, the delays were part of Hun Sen's strategy to undermine projects associated with Ronarid. In an apparent act of retaliation, Ronarid directed Funsenpec's co-minister of the interior, Yuhakri to close down all casinos in the country, citing the absence of authorizing legislation. Ronarid also proposed the cancellation of Ariston's contracts due to the delays. Hun Sen responded by meeting with Mahadur, and assured him that agreements which Ronarid had previously approved would be honored. At a Funsenpec Congress in March 1996, Ronarid expressed unhappiness over his relationship with Hun Sen and the CPP. He likened his position as Prime Minister, and those of the Funsenpec ministers, to puppets. He also questioned the CPP over their delays in appointing Funsenpec local officials as district chiefs. Ronarid threatened to dissolve the National Assembly before the end of 1996, should Funsenpec's concerns remain unresolved. Several Funsenpec MPs, including Loy Sim Chiang and Ahmad Yehia, called on Ronarid to reconcile with Sam Rainsy and work with the newly formed Khmer Nation Party KNP, in the forthcoming general election. On April 27, 1996 Ronarid, while vacationing in Paris, attended a meeting with Sihanouk, Rainsy, Chakrapong in Siravud. A few days later, Sihanouk issued a declaration praising Hun Sen and the CPP, while also stating that Funsenpec had no intention of leaving the coalition government. According to Widi Ono, Sihanouk's statement was an attempt to defuse the tension between Ronarid and Han Sr. Hun Sen rejected the king's conciliatory overtures, and responded by publishing several public letters attacking Sihanouk, Ronarid, and Funsenpec. At a CPP party meeting on June 29, 1996, Hun Sen chided Ronarid for not following through on his March threat to leave the coalition government and called him a real dog. At the same time, Hun Sen urged provincial governors from the CPP not attend Ronarid's rallies. Conflict Escalation and Military Clashes Main Article 1997 Clashes in Cambodia In August 1996, Khmer Rouge leaders Pol Pot and Ayang Sari publicly split, with the former denouncing the latter in a radio broadcast. Ayang Sari responded by disassociating himself from the Khmer Rouge and went on to form his own political party, the Democratic National Union Movement. This prompted Ronarid and Hun Sen to briefly set their political differences aside to jointly seek a royal pardon for Ayang Sari, who had been sentenced to death by the People's Republic of Kampuchea, PRK, government in 1979. Subsequently, in October and December 1996, both Ronarid and Hun Sen competed to win Ayang Sari's favor by separately visiting the leader at his fiefdom in Palin. Hun Sen gained the upper hand, when he convinced Khmer Rouge soldiers under Ayang Sari's charge to join the CPP. Ronarid cancelled a follow-up visit to Samlout, another town located within Ayang Sari's fiefdom, when Sari soldiers threatened to shoot down Ronarid's helicopter if he went there. In September 1996 Ariston Bear had signed three agreements with CPP's minister Sakin, without Ronarid's knowledge or that of other Funsenpec ministers. The agreements provided for the leasing of land to Ariston to develop a golf course, holiday resort and an airport in Sihanoukville. These actions angered Ronarid, who in a February 1997 letter to Ariston's president Chen Lip Kiong, declared the agreements null and void. 
Subsequently, Barristan claimed that they had tried unsuccessfully to contact Funsenpec officials, with a view to getting them to jointly sign the agreements. Hoom Sen was offended by Ronarid's actions, and in April 1997 wrote to Mahadir assuring him of the validity of the agreements. Ronarid forged a political coalition by bringing Funsenpec to work together with the KNP, the Buddhist Liberal Democratic Party and the Khmer Neutral Party. On January 27, 1997, the four political parties formalized their alliance, which became known as the National United Front NUF. Ron Arid was nominated as the president of the NUF and stated his intent to lead the alliance against the CPP in the general election scheduled to be held in 1998. The CPP issued a statement condemning NUF's formation and formed a rival coalition consisting of political parties ideologically aligned to the former Khmer Republic. While Ron Arid stepped up his attacks against Hun Sen, accusing him of harboring plans to restore a communist regime should the CPP win the next general election. At the same time Ron Arid attempted to persuade moderate leaders of the Khmer Rouge, including Q. Sam Phan and Tep Kunal, to join the NUF. Q. Sam Phan accepted Ron Arid's overtures, and on May 21, 1997, put the support of his party, the Khmer National Solidarity Party, KNSP, behind the NUF. On June 4, 1997, Ron Arid and Sam Phan signed a communique pledging mutual support. Five days later, customs officials at Sihanoukville discovered a three-ton shipment of rocket launchers, assault rifles, and handguns, labeled spare parts and consigned to Ron Arid. The rocket launchers were seized by Cambodian Air Force officers aligned to the CPP, while Royal Cambodian Armed Forces, RCAF, officials aligned to Funsenpec were allowed to keep the light weapons. In mid-June, Khmer Rouge Radio, controlled by Q. Sam Phan, broadcast a speech praising the KNSPNUF alliance and calling for an armed struggle against Hun Sr. Fighting subsequently broke out between Ron Arid's and Hun Sen's bodyguards. In re response Hun Sen issued an ultimatum, calling for Ron Arid to make a choice between siding with the Khmer Rouge or with the coalition government. Eleven days later, he stopped working with Ron Arid altogether. On July 3, 1997, while traveling to Phnom Penh, Ron Arid encountered troops aligned to the CPP. These troops persuaded his bodyguards to surrender their weapons, which prompted him to flee Cambodia the following day. On July 5th, Fighting broke out between RCAF troops separately aligned to CPP and Funsenpec, after CPP-aligned generals unsuccessfully attempted to coax Funsenpec-aligned troops into surrendering their weapons. The Funsenpec-aligned units suffered major casualties the following day, and subsequently fled from Phnom Penh to the border town of Oves Match in Ottominchi province. Continued Leadership in Funsenpec, 1997-2006 Exile, Return and 1998 Elections The defeat of Funsenpec aligned troops in the military clashes on July 6, 1997 amounted to the effective ouster of Ron Arid. On July 9, 1997, the Cambodian Foreign Ministry issued a white paper of labeling Ron Arid a criminal and a traitor, as well as accusing him of conspiring with the Khmer Rouge to destabilize the government. Ron Arid traveled to the Philippines, Singapore and Indonesia, where he met with Fidel Ramos, Go Chok Tong and Suharto to seek their help in his restoration. During his absence, at a party meeting on July 16, 1997, Ong Hewitt was nominated by Funsenpec MPs loyal to Hun Sen to replace Ron Arid as first prime minister. Hewitt was subsequently endorsed as first prime minister during a national assembly sitting on 6 August 1997. A few days later, Sihanouk expressed his unhappiness over the clashes and threatened to abdicate the throne and take over the premiership. Sihanouk also claimed that Ronarid's ouster was unconstitutional and initially refused to endorse on Hewitt's appointment, but later relented when Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN, member states supported Ung Hewitt's appointment. In September 1997, the UN Secretary-General, 
Kofi Annan met separately with Rana Rayet and Hun Sen to mediate the return of Funsenpec politicians and prepare for the 1998 Cambodian general elections. The UN proposed that its representatives monitor the elections, to which both Ranarid and Hun Sen agreed, but Hun Sen insisted that Ranarid be prepared to face court charges, to which Ranarid responded with a threat to boycott the election. At O's match, Funsen Pek aligned troops fought along with the Khmer Rouge forces against CPP aligned troops until February 1998, when a ceasefire brokered by the Japanese government came into effect. In March 1998, Ranarid was convicted in absentia by a military court of illegally smuggling ammunitions in May 1997 and of colluding with the Khmer Rouge to cause instability in the country. He was sentenced to a total of 35 years imprisonment, but this was nullified by a pardon from Sihanouk. Ranarid returned to Cambodia at the end of March 1998 to lead Funsenpec's election campaign, which focused on pro-monarchical sentiments and anti-Vietnamese rhetoric. Funsen Peck faced numerous obstacles, including lack of access to television and radio channels which had come under CPP's exclusive control following the 1997 clashes, and the difficulties of its supporters in getting to party rallies. In the vote on July 26, 1998, Funsenpec polled 31.7% and secured 43 out of a total of 122 parliamentary seats. The CPP won the elections by polling 41.4% of all votes and securing 64 parliamentary seats. The Sam Rainsy Party, SRP, Rainsy's renamed KNP, was in third place with 14.3% of the vote and 15 parliamentary seats. Both Ranarid and Rainsy protested against the election results, claiming that the CPP-led government had intimidated voters and tampered with ballot boxes. They filed petitions with the National Election Commission NEC, and Constitutional Court. When these were rejected in August 1998, Ranarid and Rainsy organized street protests to demand that Hun Sen relinquish power. The government responded on September 7, 1998, by banning street protests and cracking down on participants. At this point Sihanouk intervened, and arranged a summit meeting on September 24, 1998 in Siem Reap. He summoned Hun Sen, Ranarid, and Rainsy for discussions aimed at ending the political impasse. On the day of the summit meeting, a B-40 rocket was fired from an RPG-2 rocket launcher at the direction of Hun Sen's motorcade, who was traveling en route to Siem Reap. The rocket missed the motorcade, and Hun Sen escaped unhurt. The police accused Funsen Peck and SRP leaders of plotting the attack, with Rainsy as its ringleader. Both Ranarid and Rainsy denied any involvement, but fled to Bangkok the following day, fearing government crackdowns on their parties. President of the National Assembly, 1998 to 2006. Following Ranarid's departure, Sihanouk urged him to return with a view to joining the CPP in a coalition government, reckoning that Funsenpec faced the prospect of breaking up if Ranarid refused. Ranarid returned to Cambodia on November 12, 1998, to attend a summit meeting hosted by Sihanouk, at which Ranarid negotiated with Hun Sen and Chia Sim over the structure of a new government. An agreement was reached whereby Funsenpec would be given the National Assembly presidency together with several low- and mid-level cabinet posts, in exchange for its support for the creation of the Cambodian Senate. On November 25, 1998, Ranarid was nominated as the president of the National Assembly. According to Meta, the creation of the Senate was to provide an alternative platform to pass legislation in the event that Ranarid exerted his influence as the President of the National Assembly to block legislation. After his appointment, Ranarid worked with Hun Sen to reintegrate the Funsen Pekaline troops into the RCAF. Participated in efforts to foster better relations with Vietnam, and liaised with the Vietnamese National Assembly President Nong Duc Man to develop friendship and cooperation initiatives. This led to several mutual visits between Cambodian and Vietnamese political leaders, between 1999 and 2000, but relations between Cambodia and Vietnam deteriorated from September 2000 onwards amid renewed border clashes. 
Ronarid steered Funsenpec towards political rapprochement with the CPP, and actively discouraged Funsenpec ministers and MPs from criticizing their CPP counterparts. During the party's Congress in March 2001, Ronarid declared the CPP an eternal partner. As early as 1999, a sizable minority of Funsenpec's politicians were unhappy with Ronarid's leadership, as rumors began to circulate that he had accepted bribes from the CPP. In February 2002, Funsenpec performed poorly in the commune elections, winning 10 out of 1,600 commune seats. As a result of Funsenpec's poor performance in the commune elections, rifts within the party boiled into the open. In March 2002, the deputy commander-in-chief of the RCAF, Khan Savon, accused Yuhakri, the co-minister of the interior, of corruption and nepotism, acts which Savon claimed had alienated voters. When Ronarid expressed support for Savon in May 2002, Hakri resigned. Around the same time, two new political parties, splintered from Funsenpec, were formed, the Khmer Sol Party, led by Noradang Chakrapong, and the Hangdara Democratic Party, led by Hangdara. Both new parties attracted sizable numbers of Funsenpec defectors, who were apparently unhappy with Ronarid's leadership. The defections caused Ronarid to fear that Funsenpec would fare poorly in the 2003 general elections. When general elections were held in July 2003, the CPP won, while Funsenpec pulled 20.8% of the popular vote and secured 26 out of a total of 120 parliamentary seats. This marked an 11 percentage point drop in Funsenpec's share of the popular vote compared with 1998. Both Ronarid and Sam Rainsy, whose SRP had also participated in the elections, expressed unhappiness with the outcome of the election and once again accused the CPP of winning through fraud and voter intimidation. They also refused to support a CPP-led government, which needed the joint support of more MPs from Funsenpec or SRP to attain the two-thirds majority in forming a new government. Subsequently, in August 2003, Ronarid and Rainsy formed a new political alliance, the Alliance of Democrats, AD, and together they lobbied upon the CPP to form a three-party government consisting of the CPP, Funsenpec, and the SRP. At the same time, they also called for Hun Sen to step down and a reform of the NEC, which they claimed was stacked with pro-CPP appointees. Hun Sen rejected their demands, bringing several months of political stalemate. In March 2004, Ronarid privately proposed to Hun Sen that Funsenpec should join CPP in the new government as a junior coalition partner between CPP and Funsenpec began on the composition of the coalition government and legislative procedures. An agreement was reached in June 2004, when Ronarid walked out of his alliance with Rainsy, dropped his demands to reform the NEC and once again pledged to support Hun Sen as prime minister. Hun Sen also pressured Ronarid into supporting a constitutional amendment known as a package vote, which required MPs to support legislation ministerial appointments by an open show of hands. While Ronarid acquiesced to Hun Sen's demand, the package vote amendment was opposed by Sihanouk, Chia Sim, the SRP as well as several senior leaders within Funsenpec. After the package vote amendment was passed in July 2004, several Funsenpec leaders resigned in protest. Ronarid, who remained as president of the National Assembly as part of the agreement, attempted to lure SRP leaders into defecting to Funsenpec with the promise of jobs within the government. At least one senior SRP leader, O Bun Long, caved into Ronarid's enticements. Exit from Funsenpec On March 2, 2006, the National Assembly passed a constitutional amendment which required only a simple majority of parliamentarians to support a government, instead of the two-thirds majority that was previously stipulated. Rainsy had first proposed the amendment in February 2006, who had hoped that a simple majority would make it easier for his party to form a government should they win in future elections. The following day after the constitutional amendment was passed, 
Hun Sen relieved Norodom Siravud and Nek Bun Chai of their posts as Funsenpeck's co-minister of interior and co-minister of defense respectively. Ronarid protested against the dismissals and resigned as the president of the National Assembly on 14th March. He then left Cambodia to reside in France. Shortly after his departure, local tabloids published stories that Ronarid had had an affair with Uk Fala, an Apsara dancer. In early September 2006, a new law was passed to outlaw adultery, and Ronarid responded by accusing the government of attempting to undermine Funsenpak. On September 18, 2006, Hun Sen and Nek Bun Chai called for Ronarid to be replaced as Funsenpak's president, after party reports suggested that Fala had lobbied Ronarid to appoint her relatives to government posts. On October 18, 2006, Nek Bun Chai convened a party congress which dismissed Ronarid from his position as Funsenpak's president. In turn, he was given the titular position of historic president. At the congress, Nek Bun Chai justified Ronarid's ouster on the grounds of his deteriorating relations with Hun Sen as well as his practice of spending prolonged periods of time overseas. Later Political Activities, 2006-2021 Noradam Ranarid Party, Exile and Retirement Following Ranarid's exit from Funsenpak, Nek Bun Chai filed a lawsuit in November 2006, accusing Ranarid of pocketing $3.6 million from the sale of its headquarters to the French Embassy in 2005. In mid-November, Ranarid returned to Cambodia and formed the Noradam Ranarid Party, NRP, of which he became its president. The following month, the National Assembly expelled Ronarid as an MP. Within days his wife, Ng Marie, sued him for adultery. Ronarid's half-brother Chakrapong was also expelled from the party, and joined the NRP as the party's deputy president. In March 2007, Ronarid was convicted by the Phnom Penh Municipal Court of Embezzlement of the sale proceeds of Funsenpec headquarters, and sentenced to 18 months imprisonment. To avoid imprisonment, Ronarid sought asylum in Malaysia shortly before the sentencing. While living in exile in Malaysia, Ronarid communicated to NRP party members and supporters through telephone and video conferencing. In November 2007, he proposed a merger between the NRP, SRP, and the Human Rights Party to better their prospects against the CPP in the 2008 general elections. Rainsy, the leader of the SRP, rejected his proposal. When the election campaign began in June 2008, Ranarid, though not able to enter the country, raised issues such as border disputes with Cambodia's neighbors, illegal logging, and promised to lower petrol prices. When voting took place in July, the NRP won two parliamentary seats. Immediately after the election, the NRP joined the SRP and the HRP in charging the Election Commission with irregularities. The NRP subsequently dropped their accusations, after Hun Sen brokered a secret deal with Ronarid which allowed the latter to return from exile, in exchange for the NRP's recognition of the election results. In September 2008, Ronarid received a royal pardon from Sihamoni, who had succeeded to the throne in October 2004, for his embezzlement conviction, allowing him to return to Cambodia without risking imprisonment. Following his return, Ronarid retired from politics and pledged to support the CPP-led government. He dedicated most of his time to philanthropic work and supporting royal activities. In late 2010, NRP and Funsenpec leaders including Nek Bun Chai publicly called for Ronarid to return to politics. Ronarid initially resisted the calls, but changed his mind and returned in December 2010. For the next one and a half years, Ronarid and Nek Bun Chai negotiated a merger between NRP and Funsenpec. An agreement was formalized in May 2012, whereby Ronarid would be made the president of Funsenpec, while Nek Bun Chai would become its vice president. The merger agreement was rescinded a month later, when Nek Bun Chai accused Ronarid of supporting other opposition parties. Two months later, Ronarid retired from politics for a second time and resigned as the president of NRP. 
Community of Royalist People's Party. In March 2014, Ronarid came out of retirement to launch a new political party, the Community of Royalist People's Party, CRPP. Sam Rainsy, now president of the Cambodian National Rescue Party, CNRP, accused Ronarid of intending to split the opposition vote to favor the ruling CPP in future elections. Ronarid responded by accusing the CNRP of harboring Republican sentiments, while also stating that his motivation in launching CRPP was to reunite royalist supporters within the Cambodian electorate. The CRPP attracted support from some senior Funsenpec party members, in December 2014 an ex-secretary of state, a senator, and a deputy police chief declared their support for the CRPP Hooms and then proposed to Ronarid that he return to Funsenpec. Return to Funsenpec In January 2015, Ronarid dissolved the CRPP and returned to Funsenpec. At a party congress on January 19, 2015, he was reappointed Funsenpec president, his half-sister and Previous Funsenpec president, Noradama Runrasmi, became the first vice president, while Nek Bun Chai was appointed second vice president. In March 2015, Ronarid held another party congress where he appointed four more vice presidents to the Funsenpec executive committee. He also convinced the Congress to adopt a new party logo, which had a design almost identical that of the now defunct CRPP. Ronarid supported the formation of the Cambodian Royalist Youth Movement in July 2015, a youth organization aimed at garnering electoral support for Funsenpec from younger voters, of which he was appointed its honorary president. In November 2017, he returned to the National Assembly as a member of Parliament, following the dissolution of the Cambodia National Rescue Party, after which the Funsenpec received 41 of the 55 vacated seats the party performed poorly in the 2018 general election, failing to win a single seat in the National Assembly. Though they were runners-up behind the Cambodian People's Party, their tally of popular vote was fewer than the 594,659 invalid ballots cast by disenfranchised supporters of the former opposition. Palace Relations Awards and Royal Appointments In June 1993 Ronarid was granted the Cambodian royal title of Stek Krom Luong, Khmer, which translates as Senior Prince in English. Five months later, in November 1993, he was elevated to the rank of Samdek Krom Priya, Khmer, or Leading Senior Prince. In English, in recognition of his efforts to reinstate Sihanouk as the King of Cambodia. Ronarid has been a recipient of several awards from the palace. In December 1992 he was decorated as the Grand Officer of the Royal Order of Cambodia. In May 2001 he received the Grand Order of National Merit and in October 2001 was awarded the Order of Sovatara, with the class of Mohasarivad he was also awarded the Grand Officer de l'Ordre de la Pliai by the La Francophonie in March 2000. In December 2008, Sihamoni appointed Ranarid as President of the Supreme Privy Council of Cambodia, equivalent in rank to that of Prime Minister, and, during an interview in December 2010 Ranarid revealed that this royal appointment entitled him to a monthly salary of 3 million rials, about 750 US dollars. Candidacy to the Throne Debates on the succession to the throne began in November 1993, shortly after Sihanouk was diagnosed with cancer. In a 1995 poll of 700 people conducted by the Khmer Journalists Associations, 24% of respondents preferred Ranarid to take the throne, although a larger proportion indicated no preference over any members of the royal family. In a March 1996 interview with the Cambodia Daily, Sihanouk encouraged Ranarid to succeed him as king, but also expressed concern that a leadership vacuum within Funsenpec would occur, should Ranarid accede. Sihanouk repeated these concerns in an interview with the Phnom Penh Post in February 1997. Sihanouk mentioned Sihamoni as another potential candidate, despite the latter's view that the responsibilities attached to the throne were frightening. Sihamoni's candidacy found favor with Hun Sen and Chia Sim 
because of his non-involvement in politics. In two reports from 1993 and 1996, Ronarid rejected the notion of becoming the next king. In November 1997, Ronarid suggested that his outspoken and passionate personality made him an unsuitable candidate for the throne. However, by March 1999 Ronarid became more receptive to the idea of succeeding his father. In early 2001, in an interview to Harish Mehta, Ronarid discussed his conflicting desires between taking the throne and staying in politics. In November 2001, Ronarid told the Cambodia Daily that he had decided to prioritize his political career over the throne. In the same interview, he added that Sihamoni had in the past supported him to become the next king. In September 2004, Ronarid revealed that although he had been offered the throne by both Sihanouk and Mononith, who was Sihamoni's mother, he would prefer to see Sihamoni take the throne. When the throne council convened in October 2004 to select Sihanouk's successor, Ronarid was part of the council which unanimously chose Noradam Sihamoni to be the next king. Personal Life and Death Ronarid was known for his physical resemblance to his father Sihanouk, inheriting his facial features, high-pitched voice, and mannerisms. Contemporaries including Harish Mehta, Lee Kuan Yew and Benny Widiono, OEI Hong Lan, have so stated after meeting with him. An opinion poll conducted in July 1997 by the Cambodian Information Center also supports similar observations of Ronarid's physical resemblance to Sihanouk. Journalists such as those from the Phnom Penh Post have observed that Ronarid had used his resemblance to canvas support for Funsenpec during the 1993 and 1998 general elections. Ronarid acknowledged these observations during an interview with Meta in 2001, saying, People adore the king and I look like him. It is not my achievement they are remembering, but the deeds of my father. On the contrary, if I fail the people would say, oh, you are the son, but you are not like your father. It's rather a burden. Ronarid spoke Khmer, French and English fluently. He also held dual Cambodian and French citizenship, having obtained the latter in 1979. He enjoyed listening to music and watching films, though in a 2001 interview he described himself as lacking the artistic talent which Sihanouk possessed. In 2002, Ronarid produced and directed a 90-minute film, titled Rajabori, which was shot at Angkor Wat. On November 28, 2021, Minister of Information Q. Canrith announced that Ronarid had died at the age of 77 in France. Family Ronarid had 12 half-siblings from his father by different wives, Noradam Buffa Devi is his only full sibling. Buffa Devi became a ballet dancer, like her mother Fat Kanhal had been during her younger days. Kanhal remarried in 1947 to a military officer, Chap Hewitt, and had five children with him. Fat Kanhal died from cancer in February 1969 at the age of 49, while Chap Hewitt was killed in an explosion a year later. Four of Ronarid's half-siblings by his mother and Chap Hewitt were killed during the Khmer Rouge years, while one of them, Chap Nhalavoud, survived. Chap Nhalavoud served as the governor of Siem Reap province between 1998 and 2004. Ronarid met his first wife, Anne Marie, in early 1968. Marie was the eldest child of Anne Mies, an interior ministry official of Sino-Khmer descent, and Sarah Hay, a Muslim of Cham ethnicity. Marie had nine younger siblings, and among them was Roland Eng, the former ambassador to Thailand and the United States. The couple married in September 1968 at the Royal Palace, and had three children, Chakravuth, born 1970, Siharit, born 1972, and Ratana Devi, born 1974. The couple separated, and Marie filed for divorce in March 2006 when Ronarid's relationship with Uk Fala became known. The divorce was not finalized until June 2010. Ronarid had two sons with Uk Fala, Sathirid, born 2003, and Ranavang, born 2011. Fala was a descendant of King Sisawath and was a classical dancer. 
She met Rana Reid when the latter was producing and directing the film Rajabori. On June 17, 2018, Rana Reid and Uke Fala were both seriously injured in a car accident en route to Sihanoukville province. Uke Fala died hours later as a result of her injuries. In 2019, Rana Reid went to Paris to receive medical treatment for a broken pelvis.